Uh, I will talk about async IO above enhanced exception handling with task group in Python 3.11. This is my first time in Prague. It's such a wonderful city. Yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks. I want to thank the staff for the, this wonderful conference. Yes, hi. My name is Junya Fukuda from Nagano in Japan. And you can find me on Twitter on Junya FFF. In English, my name often gets confused with Junior. But it's not Junior, it's Junya. <laughs> if it's hard to pronounce, uh, feel free to call me Jun. Uh, please free, feel free to take picture and tweet. I'm a software engineer at GrooveX Inc. And I also write and translate English book. Currently, it's only available in Japanese. So it's an excellent choice for those wanting to learn Japanese. <laughs> well, today I would like to introduce a new future of AsyncIO and new Hello-ish world. This is our goal for, the, for this talk. Introduce Python 3.11 new API AsyncIO task group. Compare and explain, and explain the difference between Python 3.10 and Python 3.11. Uh, we can write exception this easily, so this is how cancellation works. I hope this talk will inspire you give the new API async IO task group, task group a try. I will guide though a reliable and safe way of writing with async IO task group, and I hope that Together, we can reach this new hollow-ish world. Why? I'm, am I giving this talk, you might ask. There are uh, too many reasons. So I can cross a tweet by Python core developer Yuri. He's one, my, one of my heroes and the author of the async await pep. When task group, task group was merged, he kept tweeting with excitement. The first reason is that I wanted to understand what was so amazing. At first, I didn't understand why I was so excited. Uh, sec the second reason is this. There is a my favorite book, Using a Syncio in Python, published by O'Reilly. There was a code I didn't understand. This code is rather long for a quick start. I want to simply the code for the hello world with Evolve Async IO. I found that Async IO task group can do that. Uh, I'm giving this talk to share simple and powerful Async IO with all of you. Our agenda for the discussion includes the following key points. First, we will explore the concept of capturing concurrent exceptions. We will then turn our attention to how we can cancel tasks when an exception arises. This is an important step in maintaining the smooth operation of our asynchronous code. Finally, I will try to reach AsyncIO's new hello wish world. Here's what I will be talk about today and what I won't be. <coughs> yeah. What's that in my mind? Let's get started. I have a question for you all. Uh, are any of you using AsyncIO? If so, uh, thank you. Thanks. <laughs> thank you very much. Oh, sorry. Oh. Many people that I accept are using it. We are all in this together. I apologize, what I prepared is for the case where many people are not using it. Please listen with the midest of some, someone who hasn't used it yet. Let's quickly go over AsyncIO. AsyncIO is Python standard library for writing asynchronous code. 
it enables handling multiple tasks concurrently, especially effective when dealing with I.O. bound tasks such as database access or HTTP request. With every new Python version, async I.O. continue to evolve. High-level APIs have become more, more and more solid and very user-friendly to write code for. Sure. Uh, with that in my mind, why don't we use it? It is really so. Let's think about it a bit. So I've given some though to why we might not use async I/O. Here's a quick rundown. Today, the focus is here. Asynchronous processing seems like it might behave unpredictably. What happens if you exception occur in this process? Have you mentioned or been asked this during a review? Seems like it might behave unpredictably. I'm, con I'm concerned about the behavior of the con coroutine when it is ex ex executed. A new, new future that solves this issue. That's where async IO task group comes in, aided in Python 3.11. The basic feature of async IO task group is the multiple tasks and handle concurrently, all at the same time. Similar functionality was available even before Python 3.10, such as I think I will gather or I think wait ATC. Let's start with the official document. Here is sample code taken from the official document documentation. I think I task group use a context manager to run multiple tasks at the same time. In this example, it run the asynchronous functions, some colo and another colo at the same time. The tasks are finished when the context manager is ex exited. However, you can also do this with Python 3.10. I tried writing the same code using a think I gather. Actually, this looks simpler. So what makes a think I task group special? Task group has two major features. One, capturing concurrent exception and canceling tasks when an uh, exception occurs. This API extracts when dealing with exceptions and cancellations. Let's look, like, let's look at each feature one by one. First, capturing concurrent exceptions. When handling multiple tasks together, Naturally, exceptions can also occur concurrently. Let's compare Python 3.11 and 3.10. Let's see how we could capture exceptions in version prior to Python 3.10. The async I gather function has an option for exceptions called returns exceptions. Let's explain this. Sorry, ah. Today talk has a lot of code. It may also be a little hard to see. Check, check it out here. Let's get set up. Pleasure asynchronous function to run concurrently. The first is coroutine, coro success, which returns success. The second is a coroutine, coro value error, which raises value error. And the third is a coroutine, Call type error, which writes a type error. Run these at the same time to see how they uh, proceed. Process. Please note, take, please note that we have omitted a wait here for the sake of explanation. Let's take a look at the care when you specially force for this option. This is what the code looks like. Execute the three async function. This 
described it earlier at the same time. Let's execute this code. I will only handle value error and cannot catch type error. I will catch the first exception that occur like this. Next, uh, let's, take, let's take a look at the scenario when the return exception options is set to true. In the case when the return exception the option is set to true, you will reiterate the result as a list after executing uh, all the tasks. Therefore, you need to check the list for the result. This is what the code look, looks like. I will run tasks together using gather. The difference from before is that return exception set true. Let's see how the this is handled. The results will be returned as a list. Therefore, it is necessary to ha have a process to check the list. I will add a process to check the list, uh, check the result list. The code is simple. The purpose is to check for errors. Now let's run the code again. The handle errors pro properly like this. It is necessary to perform check. When return exception is set to false, uh, only the first exception can be called. All the occurred exception cannot be captured. When return exception is set to true, it is necessary to check the return list of values. All tasks must be performed before a result can be reached. By setting return exception to true, you will receive a list of results that includes both the successful results and exceptions that occur during the exception of the task. To handle error or process the results correctly, you need to Iterate over the list and handle each item accordingly. Additionally, all tasks will be ex executed regardless of whether an exception occurs during their exceptions. For example, let's consider a scenario where you are making 10 HTTP requests concurrently. Suppose an exception occurs in the first task. In this case, you would need to wait until the remaining nine tasks, which might also fail, are completed. This means waiting for all 10 results, even if they all end up with the same error. The solution is async IO task group and the new syntax except star, and the except star syntax. I will execute the same async function as before. There are the three async functions. We will modify async defman. First, let's simply execute multiple tasks and receive the results in a list. It will look like this. Now, how should we write the exception handling? Add a try, add a except a star, value error, type error. Uh, using except star, we can catch each exception separately. Now, let's execute this code and see the result. You can see it catching both of the two exceptions, value error and type error. It can catch exception occurring concurrently. It is right, right, written in a way that is easy to read, similar to synchronous processing. This is the first feature of async IO task group. The key 
Here is the except star. This is a new syntax in Python 3.11. Let's take a look at except star for a moment. Except star is a new syntax in Python 3.11. Accepted in PEP 654, exception group and except star. Use when you need to write multiple and related exceptions. PEP 654 lists five motivation. Among them, there are concurrent errors. It mentions the change of async IO gather, which does have a good way to handle exceptions thrown by multiple tasks. The CPython code for async IO task group. During a dunder I, I exist, it's boundary its own errors and throws a base exception group. It's a, it is a content of the errors are uh, only subclass of exceptions. The base exception groups constructor returns an uh, exception group. See this reference you for the on exception group. Next, uh, canceling tasks on exception. What happens to the remaining tasks being executed concurrently when an exception occurs? Depending on the situation, the re remaining tasks may just continue to run. Let's look at an example for, of when async I will gather is used to use and tasks are left over. Add an uh, async function, wait a bit. There are three functions. Oh. Add an um, async function called color wrong, async I will slip and print. Execute three async function in async I will gather. We are done for clearly when it, it is executed. Now let's execute. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it will output value error and then done. After done, there will be an output from the added asynchronous function colorong saying colorong task is still running. In async, uh, I, async I will gather when an exception occurs. Other tasks remain learning. This make it difficult to predict behavior. You, you may want to stop or roll back what should you do. Cancellation. <laughs> Cancellation comes into play here. In some cases, the remaining tasks uh, executed as they are. Cancellation is not new feature. You can also cancellation with async IO gather. Let's modify the previous code. There are three points of modif modification. First, we add a post press processing to the core wrong async function that get cancelled. Uh, next, we check for remaining task tasks and instruct them to cancel. Finally, we wait for the com completion of the post-cancellation -canc process. We use, we use task cancel function to cancel a task. It sends a cancellation request to the task. Then, an async I canceled error exception is sent to the canceled task. Therefore, you need to catch the async IO canceled error within the async function. Also, you need to send the async IO canceled error back from within the async function. I'm a little confused. Let's try to implement it. Let's try to modify the async function called wrong. Uh, we, need, we need to catch the cancelled error. We will 
you try accept to catch the canceled error. Next, we we'll add the post cancellation processing and the reslow the canceled error. When we throw the task will be treated as canceled. When using async IO gather, it's necessary to check remaining tasks, instruct them to cancel, and when wait for the processing to complete. For each of three, the, we use task cancel, task done, and async IO trip. Let's modify the code. Here's the code from area. Easy to check task status, the process in, is the same. And finish tasks with task done. We run task cancel for unfinished tasks. Then we wait for compilation with async IO strip. The overall picture looks like this. Review a bit the output in case a task remains. This is called before modif modification. Other tasks will continue to execute when exception occurs. Here's a modified code. We should see the output colon task was canceled, and the entire process should complete. Right. When cancelled, the action function gets the cancellation. This is the basic for cancellation. When using async IO, IO gather, it was necessary to check remaining, tas remaining tasks, T tell them to cancel, and wait for processing. Let's examine, examine the case with async IO task group. With async IO task group, all remaining tasks get canceled automatically when the context manager is exited. And it waits for the cancellation process to finish. Simply, simply put, there is no extra work required. The tasks get canceled on their own. Now, let's refactor the code we just wrote. Here is a code from Aria. Refactor here first. Turn off, gather, and review the task creation. Put the result in one of the get results. Put answer next to the accept. Checking the task status and waiting for the cancellation process are not necessary, so we will remove, remove them. It's the same as using the task group normally. With this, we can cancel the tasks. Let's give it a run. The order of catching exceptions and processing after cancellation has been switched. This is because we are doing the cancel cancellation process after catching exception before. Task group properly managed the tasks within. Since everything is wrapped up within the task group, its result in more productive behavior. Now, that we have seen features of async IO task group, exception and cancellation has been simplified. Finally, uh, write async IO code in relay, reliable and safe way, the new standard Harish world. First, we import async IO. Next, Let's define our async function. After that, we line up the async function we want to process concurrent using a task group. Oh, and don't forget to consider exceptions. We don't have to worry about 
translation here is handled automatically. <coughs> Finally, we execute it with async IO run. <coughs> How about this for hello-ish world at Python 3.11, considering cancellation and, uh, sorry, con considering exceptions and cancel cancellations. Uh, quick start introduced first. It was checking the status of the task and waiting for the cancellation process. Some function and argument are duplicated, so if I went to do this in Python 3.11, I would probably, to probably do the following, in including exceptions. The book is excellent, please check it. Catching an a canceling exception with async IO task group was introduced. I'd, I'd be delighted if this talk serves as an opportunity for you to reconsider your current code or speak an uh, interest in using async IO for the first time. Please enjoy it more comfortable and think I arrive. Hello, well, sorry. sorry. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, we have it's to appended. stop now. Yeah. <laughs>